trying to grow natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm just going to start with putting up these two screenshots because this is why I'm here today. Uh, this is why we're here today, I guess. Make it make sense. Don't be a bully. What would Jesus do? Like, let's all ponder all these questions while we're just looking at these two screenshots because that's why I'm really here today. So I'm going to give you all the background just in case you're not familiar with it. But I really want you guys to know about it. I always want to speak out on natural hair community issues so that you guys know what's going on beyond, you know, the social media and beyond the images that these companies and brands put up. Everything in here is my opinion. I don't know for sure. I feel, I think, maybe, possibly, I wonder if. So nothing in here I'm stating as a fact. These are just my thoughts on the issue. Disclaimer, disclaimer. So, screenshot number one. Like that's, that was, that's just beyond the line. Like so far beyond the line. So, nothing in Linda's review warranted that. And I think, I don't even think that's legal. So I don't think anything could warrant that whether her review was left field, far out, malicious or anything. And it wasn't any of those things. So wow like birds of a feather fluff together like I, like between the two of them melvin and monique birds of a feather fluff together because two people that are like that anyway i'm trying to not get hurt <laughs> i'm trying to keep it cool because i kind of feed off myself so when i'm hot i'm like damn it makes you hot and i get even hotter so let me let's let's who start us back and start again <laughs> linda did not give melvin her phone number for personal use that's all I have to say on that. So him doing that was all sorts of wrong. We don't even need to, like, it was wrong on every level. I don't know what level it wasn't wrong on. It was wrong on a business level, a personal level, a, like, Christian level, like, right? We can all agree on that. If you were professional, as you claim, like, how would that even happen? Like, how would you You'd be like, no, you know, we can't use her information. Like, there's no part of this that's professional from beginning to end. Right. And the part that really sickens me is that like they're using their company, the company that we help build. I've bought some mild products before. Linda herself has bought mild products and that's the part that really sickens me is that they're using funds from black women to harass black women. Like that's so sick and twisted. Plus the fact that they just feel like they could just bully anybody and get away with it. Like what were they like in school? You know? But anyway, let me... I think I just need some music, like some common sea breeze or something in the background. Anyways, okay. When I saw that, that phone call, that was my last show. That's when I like unfollowed Miel, Mayel on social media. I posted it on my Instagram and I unfollowed them on Instagram. I had people unsubscribe from my YouTube channel. Well, bye. I personally refuse to potentially endorse, fund, or support that kind of bullying by putting any money into Maya. So I'm not saying cancel just because like I really don't want to cancel. I don't want to cancel them. But I'm not purchasing from them until Linda gets an apology. All of us get an apology. I want Linda to be compensated for this phone business. Like some dollars have to run. Apologies have to run. I want to hear that y'all went to therapy and y'all will no longer be harassing and bullying customers. Like those are the minimals for me to purchase from Myla again. And I don't usually, I don't often buy from them, but I thinking about each and every of the four products I ever bought from them. And I <laughs> even did a video on this channel, I think two videos mentioning them. So each one of those products, just I'm thinking about each one right now, just four, you know, and that burning me. But anyways, anyways. Let's get back to the beginning in case some of y'all haven't seen the original video. Linda Lynn did a review on the Maya Rice Water Collection. And that was about two months ago. So tell me why this phone thing coming up just like... So two months later, you're going to call her phone? I think I should just put this in too and have like the person who's being all calm and log logical, methodical and the person who's tripping out. Like, <laughs> I think that's the video that's really happening right now. So it would be funny if I just did that, but that's too much editing for right now because I'm trying to get this out soon. So summary of the review, she found the clay mask to be okay. Not bad, not the best. 
the moisturizing milk to be moisturizing but not effective as a styler and then she felt like the split end therapy couldn't really treat split ends it being not a hair shares and all and that's the beginning and the end really of the review there was nothing in there for anybody to come out of pocket harass bully call sue like there was nothing in there for any of that linda seemed to speak the most on the labeling and that it wasn't helpful enough for her and also that the milk didn't work well for her as a styler but she did review everything like i said she did give us a review on the clay mask she did give us a review or her thoughts on the split end therapy now as a kinky curly myself I know like okay you put on a product you can tell if it has hole or not you can tell which direction your wash and go is gonna go and Linda even said that she said well there's not much hole in here so you know it's probably not gonna define my hair like a gel she said that so I feel like she appropriately informed her viewers like this is what to expect I don't think she told them she expected her hair to be laid or anything like that to me if your product labeling says a product can be used as a styler then that should be the case so you should be able to test it as a styler use it as a styler and it should have you to some extent so where that styler thing come from we'll get into that later and my thoughts on that but the long and short is Linda was within her rights to review the collection by itself to review the milk styler as a styler since that's what it had in the directions Linda followed the directions to a T she didn't switch anything around so if someone follows the directions on your labeling, you can't tell them they use the product wrong. And then have the audacity to be mad at them and come in talking in the comments when they follow your directions word for word. And you're bold enough to say, well, don't watch the directions, don't take on the directions. You gotta see my live to really use the product. What? So your product has to come with the Instagram live or like a YouTube comment. Your, com your product can't stand on its own. Like, how does that make sense? Like, how does that make sense? I don't get that. So if you're selling something in people with natural hair and you're calling something a styler, it should have a bit of whole point blank period, in my opinion. So that word styler, I don't know if you all use the wrong label, like, I don't know what, what. Like, if you're borrowing that labeling from somewhere, but there should be at least some whole point blank period, first up, the end. Like, to me, in my opinion. So that whole thing of, well, it just says it's a styler, but it's not supposed to have whole, make that make sense to me, somebody because that doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever in my opinion I don't think so I don't feel so right she did look a bit disappointed in the end and I understand that too because like you are using a product that says styler like somehow against hope against hope you're hoping that somehow they were really thinking about you they were thinking about textured hair and they call it a styler so they got you even though it seemed like it's not working you're like no, maybe when it dries, it'll surprise me. Like, there's always that hope there. So if that doesn't come through, there's always going to be a slight amount of disappointment. And Mia totally opened the door for it to be judged as a styler by putting styler in the direction. Like, I don't see how... Like, I really don't see... If somebody explain to me what her point is. Her point is, don't take on my directions. Come and watch my life. Like, how do you expect to... And that's the professional business approach. And if you don't know... If you don't know that that's the professional approach... You're not a brand owner or some so the, the professional business approach you expect to grow your business by going into everybody's homes like online or whatever and teaching them one by one how to use your product and that makes sense to you like we just have a discussion here yeah, that makes sense and that's what I would learn in brand owner school so does the product deserve a low rating solely because of its failure as a styler like I would think that would be up to the individual, like I wouldn't even get into that. It's their right to do that. Somebody else might say, well I'm going to put other factors, whatever. But it's on their scale, they made up that scale so they can rate it how they want to, basically. I think that nice within her rights to rate the product based on performance as a styler. She did say it was moisturizing, like what more do you want? You know, like what more, what more could she say? Well, it was moisturizing and well my hair turned out great. I mean like it was visual like what you wanted her to say and then if you're saying you wanted to use it correctly why don't you put that on the instructions at least put it online like it's free to just put it on your website I went on the website and it's like the same mess I wanna hope it's the same mess like it's mess anyways in my opinion like when I went to the website it was just the instructions were just as unhelpful so 
we gotta actually come and watch video to use your product or you gotta come and personally explain to us i think it's really sad that even within our own community we have to read between the lines especially if you have like type 4 hair well this product says it's for you but it may not really be for you it says it's a styler but it's not a styler for you like why should we be excluded like why should your labeling exclude us why should your labeling focus on dime size like who in the natural community uses dime size that you feel like you need to put dime size on your label and not even like a little use generously put as much as you need use a styler if you need why is that unprofessional again but it's professional to require people to do a live or to go in people comments and explain or dm them to explain how to use your product that's professional we're just asking questions here i think the video was excellent in terms of it said exactly what could have been improved exactly like okay the labeling should have said pair with another styler pair with something else from the line it even said the labeling should have said which hairstyles like twist up wash and go like to me those were all great and perfect answers and all monique should have done was like oh thank you i'm writing all this down we're about to make them changes girl and it would have been a wrap because the problem was the directions not that she doesn't know how to what like if somebody's following the directions and the directions lead them wrong what's the problem that they're doing it wrong how does that make sense like i'm <laughs> i'm not even like to come on people's video let's let's chat now if you want to play let's play monique because you can come and explain all this to me and my non-brand owner certification possession self i think what me i should have done was just admit that the directions don't properly address kinky here clearly we still want to know why but clearly it didn't and should have apologized for that because clearly that's a problem it's just disrespectful disrespectful to natural hair on the whole because not even them lauren massey people using dime size anything but especially to to come on a natural hair product or a product that you're trying to say is meant for us with dime size i don't know where that came from that's hella disrespectful you should have and could have apologized point blank just for them directions instead of fighting it down even i think the next day you were fighting down that you just allowed to use it but you didn't happen to include any directions that makes sense and then you're defending the use of directions like if you think the directions aren't good you don't know how to be a brand owner say what i did think that the video was done a little distastefully um and that's just my opinion so again i was coming on there to try to just help educate on the proper use and uh, again i know what the directions say but for legality issues the things that nobody knows what it takes to build a brand and to put products out there we have to be very vague with our i have to show you all this in a video because she had so much to say on this hair milk like this is her old school original hair milk she had all the directions all the instructions like look at pair it with this pair it with that try it alongside all hair types use as a daily moisturizer moisture is key to length retention so length retention was the, was the focus here let me show you the ingredients as well got you some shea butter and stuff but this certified organic ingredients let me show you that so clearly this is you know she's talking to us here right length retention dry thirsty hair seal your ends refresh them curls peer alongside something else nothing about styler styling anything so this is her original or one of her early hair milks, I believe the original. So let's take a look at the rice water. Where is that thing? Alright. <laughs> wow. Five stars. Nine. Like honest reviews are somewhat mixed. And she has 900, almost 900, and it's like five stars. Mm. But anyways um yeah so again mention dry thirsty hair infused with rice water and oils okay you zoom directions apply a dime size amount from root to tip on wet or dry hair may be used for styling and hydration so you see the difference in directions right 
like apply a dime size amount what like which natural hair company says dime size like how directions go from left to right like what what are we supposed to do with these directions like i think whoever made up these directions like <laughs> i don't want to say they, they need some retrain i don't know what to say about them but they are the root cause of all the problems basically because these directions not beneficial not good not enough not anything so yeah Linda should have really applied like a dime size like that's what she should have done applied a freaking dime size and then show what's what because i think the whole video was really just a comment on these directions which is fair and which monique should have acknowledged as being the problem in the first place talking about it gotta be vague and you don't know any better because you're not a brand owner like you used to so i mean like we just looked at your old directions that were very not vague and you are still a brand owner so you know what's really going on like something is going on something is going on behind the scenes and with this dime size maybe used for styling and hydration i think my suspicion is they're trying to market to people who use dime size amounts i'll just put it that way i think she's trying to multi-texturize her product her brand and she don't want us black folks coming in making problems for her basically like that is uh, the opinion my personal opinion on this and if you look at it in terms of that things making more sense like if you look at it in terms of maybe something's going on behind the scenes and she's trying to expand her little market so let's just pay attention within the next year or two and see where that goes but like i think she's trying to say like she's pulling a shame moisture basically and she's trying to say well i'm now trying to aim for another market y'all can hang on y'all can fall off do whatever y'all want this ain't really about y'all anymore that's what i'm getting from those two words dime sized the whole thing of it can be used for styling um knowing it's just a milk with little hold and these are the ingredients in case you all wanted to see that. Where's the certified organic? Is it there? No. Certified organic? No. No, no, no. So, yeah, I think it's a whole other thing. And people were asking them why they removed the organic from their name. And they were giving some, in my opinion, BS responses in the comments saying stuff like, you know, we just, you know, whatever. Felt like taking it off. New direction. Simplify. Sure, like, I'm going to go find that comment because... Yeah, they removed the organic in their name because they removed the organic from the ingredients list on these new items, in my opinion. Yeah, because it's not here. Okay. Well, it was for all types before, but now it's for all types, but especially all types who like dime-sized amounts of product. That's what it looks like to me. I'm curious about these reviews too because... Yeah, like seriously, all over YouTube, people on Instagram, people have been saying that they delete negative comments. I think this speaks for itself. And I don't really like to deal with brands who delete negative comments. I really don't. Personal. Personally. So my L is just all that and a half. It's just perfect. Look at this. Like a thousand plus reviews and just five star everywhere. Like, say what now? I mean, seriously, yo, like, look at this. Okay, Mel, you're just perfect. Thank you. Perfect. Five out of five in every single product. So this is dark and lovely. This is a big company, right? Monique talking about directions gotta be vague and Linda doesn't know any better and she doesn't know big business. Look at these directions. So this is a big company. They don't, they don't know about directions. That's what you're trying to say. They don't know what they're doing. You need to like message them in their DMs and talk about they don't know any better. Because like apply a generous amount, not even a dime size. They know who their target market is, as do you. Detangle with cool more fingers. Do not rinse. Follow up with the styler. Like, you know, 
Like, depending on your styling needs. Depending on your styling needs. Like, this is exactly what you should have been doing and you should have did and you would have did if you were actually targeting textured hair. I think it was just a clumsy, cheap attempt to diversify. Like, that's the only possible explanation. Because this is a big business. You can't tell me they don't know that good business means you have to keep your directions vague and talk about dime size on a natural hair product. You can't tell. Well, guess what? Okay, I wanted it to be a nice, normal cam video, but it just not making any sense to me. Usually, I could see at least multiple signs. There was nothing you could have owned, my life. I could find a million things to say about you from your man to yourself to your directions, and you own and claim none of it. You were just perfectly right. Yeah, this forget the balance. This is about to be a rant. Like, if the styler has some little type of hole, some little type of hole. I could have pushed it through as well as kind of a styler, you just gonna have big hair, whatever, whatever. But if the styler has like no hole and you and all as a brand owner saying, well, it doesn't have hole, I expect it to have hole, but as a styler, you lost me totally on that. Your points went down to zero in terms of you're making sense. Those instructions were never meant for Linda. Linda should have put a dime size. She even put more. She should have put a dime size and show us her hair just to highlight the issue because I think the bigger issue is having directions on a product that you want to claim is for the natural hair community that does not apply to the natural hair community at all. So thank you Linda Lynn for highlighting this because I personally would not have noticed this shift if you hadn't highlighted it. So thank you very much for your review. I appreciated it. And you taught me something about Myla that I didn't know. To me, like how I took her review, Linda's review was positive in the end because she said it was moisturizing. And for a lot of naturals, once you say it's moisturizing, they could find a way to maybe make it work. The only kiss of death for me is if a review says a product makes the hair dry or fall out or something crazy. If a review says the product was moisturizing, we're in business. So the review did not hurt you any. Most people would have watched Linda's review put a style on it and went about their life. It didn't have to change anything for your company. Like that is for serious what most people would have left that review thinking. So that review did not hurt you at all. What hurt you is you coming in the comments. The only thing she was going off of is the direction said, this can be used as a styler. I wanna just use the line by self, which I can understand because when I review products, I like to use a line by self where possible. Um, just so I can tell you how moisturizing that line itself is for me, you know, but just to be able to review the line on its own, which isn't a diss to me, because like I said, people who don't want a complete line can just use their bits and mix in the other bits from other places. And if people wanted a complete line, they wouldn't be buying it anyway, because it's not complete. So the hair lose any coins from the incomplete talk. The hair lose any coins from the no whole talk so i would like monique or melvin nah i don't even think i want to meet melvin i i shouldn't even know melvin's name melvin has nothing to do with this but monique where is your prop where is the problem show me the problem and furthermore linda did lots of positive reviews for your company that actually earned you money so if you have a problem with this review and you want to take her coins you should be giving her coins for the ones that she did that actually gave you money because she was one of the few people who had a positive review of your Moisture RX line. So where's her coins for that? Where's her thank you for that? Where's your comments on her? Should we go to that video and look for your comment? Like it's just, it takes a certain character to completely ignore, not even check to see somebody's history and body of work and just judge. And you know what? Take that back because I know she knows. I know Monique knows that Linda did videos for her before and had positive reviews for her before. So I don't understand how as a person you could know that and still act like the way you're acting for this one review because i've been hearing talk about lawsuits and stuff like knowing her body of work even if it was the first one as a human being you know this is a small youtuber she ain't no millionaire even if it was her first infraction whatever and it's not even an infraction let's just hope that it doesn't go any further than this that y'all take the therapy y'all apologize y'all drop this lawsuit talk your compensate Linda. Like, like that's my only hope from this situation and I still hope that and I sincerely hope that. All you had to say in the comments was, yeah girl, I'm sorry about those directions. Put a little honey and ginger custard or pomegranate custard on it. 
next time you know and it will work out so much better that's all you have to say better better get paid on the label itself but baby steps even if you wanted to educate someone on how to use your products there are nicer ways to do it i've had situations where brand owners came in and actually taught me how to use well you know i don't know if they were considered taught because i mean that takes a level again of arrogance but where they've come in and given me tips on how to use the product next time or something like that and actually left me with a good feeling so it is possible i didn't see the comments originally so i didn't have an opinion at the time even worst case i was like okay maybe her comments were a little unprofessional a little petty but unprofessional petty people still have to eat i even said that on sheree's video like you know maybe monique just had a bad day let's give her the benefit of the doubt that's what i was trying to do while your husband trying to call people Allegedly. Allegedly. I'm just gonna replay this little allegedly clip here and there in the video. Allegedly. I honestly would not have cancelled her offer her comments. Like, not everybody is nice, so not every brand owner is nice. And while I would have definitely been given pause, like I wouldn't have necessarily told other people, like, expose it and highlight it, publish it, do a video. Like she's smart enough to put it out on social media. I think there are not nice brand owners out there, but at least when you have one little male hat, like I know on my job, I have one more little work hat, and you want to tell the customers different things about sunshine, but you hold it together and you just, you're super polite, right? You let them run, let them really, let them do whatever they want, and you're super polite because you know you have one that work switch, right? So where is your work switch? Like we have created this uh, micro economy and it's working really well and it just takes one lawsuit, one big break between influencers and companies to mess the whole thing up and nobody gets any coins. So think beyond yourself, right? Like this is like we keep in dollars in our community and I think it's awesome and beautiful. We have black women buying products from black women. We have other black women reviewing and showcasing the products like it's like this big love circle and one lawsuit can mess all of that up like even without the lawsuit just the harassment can mess all of it up i'm sure influencers are already feeling intimidated and silenced and either they're scared of y'all now they may not want to do any reviews of y'all in the future like y'all need to think about this these things think about the bigger picture you were talking about like linda is not supporting black business explain to me how potentially destroying the natural hair community all by your little lonesome is supporting black business it's not how is harassing a black woman supporting black business how is threatening brand influencers in general supporting black business it's not so Linda isn't hurting black business, Monique, you are hurting black business with all these shenanigans and antics that you're carrying on with. Because your actions threaten to destabilize natural hair brand influencers, maybe discourage some of them from coming on, harm the small businesses that they would have promoted. So just check yourself. I want to say before I wreck yourself, but just check yourself. Check yourself. Because if brand influencers stop reviewing, especially smaller companies, they're not gonna get any exposure. They're not gonna get the exposure they're getting now. Can you imagine, Miss Mayel, Monique, how much money it would cost you to get the reviews that we do basically for free in the detail that we do? Like if you had to hire actors, camera crew, editing, production crew, you know how much money that will cost you? You know how much money? But do you care? No, because you act like if you're entitled to good reviews. Do you want things to work like how it works on your website? You just want five out of five all the time, right? Because that's how it works in Monique land, when you, where you could control things. It doesn't look like that in the real world, boo-boo. Because I think you spend so much time in your own land where you can just delete comments, block people and stuff, and it must just burn you that you cannot delete or block a YouTube video from being out there. That just sitting there burning you. You know, because I guess when you started, there were already people out here doing free reviews, so you just think that's part of it. That's not part of it. That's us putting in our hard work for no reward, and I don't think that's right, and you shouldn't just accept it as right either. Like, you should start thinking about it if you don't. It takes me a full day's work, probably more, to film, edit, and produce, and publish a video. Just to let you guys know, when I say a full day, I'm talking eight hours, right? So... Don't just assume that we just come on here, smile, and it's over. 
I've had situations where brand owner would see that I'm doing a video for them, see my good work, see that people are like, oh, I want to buy, oh, I'm going to buy, and still find it hard to even sell me just one bottle of product. One bottle of product so that I can try a different style with the rest of products I already have on board to try a different style, to do a new video, to promote your brand again. And you find it hard to send me like a $15 bottle of gel, like an 8 ounce, and not to say it's like a 15, it's a $15 bottle of gel. Like, you're out here not paying small influencers, acting like any advertising of your brand is just your due, to the point where you actually want to get mad, upset, vex, take action, harass over a negative review. When you both basically saw all the positive reviews before and had nothing to say, like, like the audacity that that takes is mind-boggling to me. Now, of course, not all. I have good relationships with several brands, and several of them have come to me and even unasked, like, okay, you know, here's some products, thank you, and stuff, which I really appreciate. I really appreciate those brands. I'm just saying, like, the ones of you all and you all know yourselves who don't appreciate influencers sufficiently, search your heart and find some changes that you can make. So I just want to wrap this up by saying that I stand with Linda, I stand with Honest Reviews, I stand with brand influencers. I want to see all influencers supporting Linda because it's the right thing to do. And if that's not enough to move you, because it could have been you as well. I don't usually ask, but I, I really want to know who really thinks that Monique is right to have her husband calling people phone and lawsuit talk and all that. Who really thinks that's right? So that's it. Like I said, I just hope that Mayel gets it together. And I hope that this is a wake-up call for all brand owners and like something positive can come out of this. And I'm sorry that like I wanted it to be more balanced and I tried to do a balanced video, but then I realized, well, there really isn't any balance to be had. So I guess it became a rant and I'm sorry about that. Like I wish it wasn't a rant. I wish it didn't have to be a rant. I wish there was more I could say in defense of Monique. She had me out my character now because I don't usually like to do like just bash videos. But at the same time, it's important to stand up for Linda and just expose what's going on. So I kind of feel like I have to do it. Thank you guys for watching. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you're interested in seeing product reviews, honest product reviews on black women owned businesses. Definitely subscribe and check out my videos for more of those. And I'll see you in the next one.